Hey guys, tuning in, another little video update, Luke Skywalker's Video Diary, and I'm um, doing a little bit of work at the front door again today. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about the front door, seeing as that I see so many people, especially my neighborhood, all the people who have dogs in my neighborhood seem to have trouble at the front door. And the trouble they have is basically they have high energy dogs, just like Luke, who's a Vishla, and uh, they're super high energy dogs. Even though he's well behaved, wait, even though he's well behaved, he is a high energy dog, just like all the other dogs in the neighborhood. And the problem they have is when the doors open, it's kind of like an, an invitation for the dog to take off and run out. And since they're such high energy dogs, once they pass that, that level, you know, like a dog goes from zero to, to 160 seconds, well, once they pass a certain level, to get them to stop, once they're out the front door is impossible. So then the neighbors are chasing their dogs all around the neighborhood all the time. Wait. So, uh, by teaching the dog impulse control and basically teaching him that there's an invisible boundary right here that he can't cross until he's invited, it helps with that problem. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of the work I do at the front door. What you'll notice is that I'll walk out, give him the command to wait because I don't want him to fail and I want him to understand, I want him to wait until I invite him out. So that helps him understand and also sets him up for success. So here we go. Wait. So I walk out the front door. I don't even look at him. My back is to him. If he wanted to walk out right now, he could. I can't stop him. It's important to do this without physical touch. In other words, I don't have a chain on him, and I don't have a baby gate in the front door. I'm doing this with my mind, and basically telling him that even though the door's open, that doesn't invite him to come out. Now, this is also done through very positive reinforcement all the time, and uh, since we got him, I've been doing this, and that's why he's so good at it. So now I'm going to invite him out. Okay, here. Now I'm going to tell him that there's another boundary here that I don't want him to cross because I don't want him to run out in the street even though he's outside. So wait, sit. I have him wait for me here. And for more advanced, which we are already, as you can see, he's very well behaved and obedient, I'm going to also tell him that when I say it's time to go back inside, it's time to go back inside no matter what. I don't have a chain. You have to do this with your energy and your body language. Go inside. Wait. So now I've created the boundary at the front door again, and since we're doing some training, this time there's a treat, so he gets a reward. Wait. For being a good boy. Yes. And that's how you do some work at the front door with your dog. Even though he's high energy, it can still be done. Okay, guys, so we'll tune in again soon.